The 19 remaining recruits are about to face one of the most dangerous operations undertaken by the special forces. Extraction from an oil rig. Across the globe, wars are fought to protect our economic assets. The oil rig is designed to test our recruits' bottle. Their ability to operate at height, to work at speed and precision, and also to be able to follow orders. This is a prime target for the enemy. What we're going to do now is the extraction method, as quick as we can, fast, efficient. We will tell you once and once only what to do. No excuses. If you fuck this up, you're off the course. Simple as that. And when I say go, we're being single file. Is that understood? Yes, yeah, sir. Let's go. Move. Go. Go. Move it. Fuck me. This is some scary shit. To get to the extraction point, the recruits must climb 150 feet. For fuck's sake, this is not for me at all. <laughs> One of my biggest fears is heights. I can't stand heights. So in order to move, you start to raise it up. That position there, where you can see the end of the rope, your left hand goes across your face. And deep open water. I think it's what Jaws when I was younger, I think. I'm not sure. <laughs> OK, stop shaking. OK, step off. Feet down, feet through. There you go. The recruits must abseil 130 feet as quickly as possible. Pull your right arm up! Pull your right arm up! Go on! Go! Let's go! Keep it going, let's go! What the fuck is wrong with you? Get in there now! Before unhooking themselves... ..and dropping the final 20 feet into near-freezing water... Okay, now I'm number two. I had time growing beard! ..the DS expect the recruits to complete the abseil in under 15 seconds. Number two, John's descent, takes 50. What was that about? Ah, what the...? Taking ages. Stop moving! Let's go, let's go! To take control of an oil rig is very dangerous. Go! Move! There's no time in a conflict situation to think and hang about. It's all about speed, aggression, and surprise. Get in there! Go! Move it! Next to go is number 13, Holly. I love heights, but am I nervous and scared at heights? Yeah, a little bit. I'm 13! Move! Move! Three and a half years ago, I got into aerial dancing. But no more opportunities now. No more fuck ups. That's that. And that was the best decision I ever made. Because from day one, I walked in. And straight away, there was just this feeling of absolute acceptance. Bring your hand to the position it is now in front of your body, or higher, and you'll go even faster. If you want to slow it down, you pull it that way. Yes, yes sir. And it's what's helped me cope. It's given me that focus in life to keep going. Lead it through. There you go. You've got it. You've worked it out. And that's it. That's it. Start to build up some momentum. Control it. No way, go! Go! She was alive. Yes, she was. She was good. Yes, she was. 13! Good effort! Holly completes the task in 12 seconds. Good start, weird ending. <laughs> Number one, let's go! The final recruit to go is number one, Ricky. Being a firefighter is a dangerous job. Remember, don't let your fingers get too close to this, because you'll feed your fingers through it, then we'll have a problem, or you'll have a problem. I think you learn very quickly what your limitations and capabilities are. Step off. There we go. You have control. Away you go. And it's important to know that we do all have limitations. All the way. All the way. Away you go. Go! Build up some speed, let it go, go on! Oh, shit. 
Okay. Go on. In just five seconds, Ricky completes the task. See, I told you the fireman would show us how it's done, didn't I? It's the fastest time of the whole group. Yeah, that's good. Right, listen in. We cover all sorts of terrain and ground in the Special Forces, and we employ a multitude of techniques to get up, over, across, and down obstacles. What you're about to see is one of those techniques, and then guess what? You're going to do it. Stand by! Go! Stop moving! Let's go, let's go! Hit forward! The forward abseil is an insertion method. Let's go, Ruth! Coming from above is a surprise. It's not expected. Control yourself! It's an alien thing to do, to walk over the edge of a cliff facing forwards. What was that? Let's go! It's scary. It tests bottle. Move forward, get momentum, move! Good effort! Number six! Go! <sighs> Next is number six, Jake. What's the matter? I'm shitting at stuff. I think I will struggle with things that involve heights. I'm scared. I'm completely out of control. Go with it. Stand oh. up straight. Do not bend yes, your knees so much. Lean forward. Yes, sir. I'm a very emotional guy. I think when I get scared, I could be one of the ones that cries quite a bit. Uh, that's not straight. I'm trying, sir. Don't gob off back, do what Sorry, I tell you. Sir. Now stand up straight, lean into it. Nowadays, I express my emotions ah. very easily. I'm going to be sick. Keep uh. your legs straight! Uh. But until two or three years ago, I never did. Uh. Uh. Come on, come on, come on. No, come on, Jay. Uh. Move forward, get momentum, move. Uh. Get your right arm out. Uh. Move forward, get momentum, move. Uh. Move. Uh. Get your legs back. Uh. Diabolical, pathetic. So tough. Don't be sorry, what the fuck was all that about? Why is this my biggest fear, stuff? You're not fucking listening up here. Fear is the number one emotion that we use to get us through. If you can't harness it, there's no place for you here. I'll try harder next time, stuff. Well, it'd be lucky if there is a next time. <sighs> fuck off over there. Move. Move. Number six, move. The illusion jump tests people's bottle. It's made to look like the distance is greater than it actually is, so it's all about committing. Sometimes you've just got to take your balls in your hand and do it. You will leap from this platform that we're on to that landing point there. Stuff. And we're going to concentrate on that handhold there where you can see the chief instructor's hand. Yes, stuff. You're going to control all your fear, sir. and you're going to commit. Sir. Happy? Yes, sir. Right, step forward. I have a huge fear of failure, but mentally I know I'm in control of myself. I'm in control of my mind, and as long as I remember that, then I'm going to be fine. Ready? Yes, sir. Let's go. You happy with that? Yes, sir. Good. 20 good efforts! Next. Right, step underneath that line through here. You are going to launch yourself from this platform with a huge amount of commitment. Good, sir. All right? Yeah. Next to go is number 15, Alan. 
Right, let's have a look at this fucking fall, shall we? I don't know what that looks like to you, but it's actually probably further than you think it is. You should imagine your depth perception slightly out. Yeah. <laughs> right, big amount of commitment, come on. I have one eye, because I'm a massive badge of honor, because I got diagnosed with cancer. I beat cancer, I come out the other side. A lot of people don't get to say things like that. Cancer has taught me a lot about life. I never had any regrets. Good effort. Moving in the right direction, you are number 15. Keep heading there. Thanks, sir. Especially with fucking one eye. Thanks, sir. There are some situations you'll face in the SF world that you just have to leap before you think. Come on, then. Let's go! Don't hold on to me. Hold on. I remember a situation in the Middle East where I literally had to leap between two buildings, not only keep an eye on an enemy and looking for someone who's trying to kill me, but think of, if I got this wrong, I was going to fall about 60 feet to my death. Are you happy? Yes, sir. Good effort. Well done. Good to go? Yes, sir. What are you going to do right now? Yes, sir. It's a little bit more dangerous because yes, of the rain. Number 14, Jamie, is next. There ain't nothing that can't be done. Yes, sir. But don't get it fucking wrong. Yes, sir. I was brought up in a way that you don't show weakness. You shouldn't be over-emotional. For somebody like myself, who has been scared for most of their life... Big commitment now, let's make it happen. I think my... My biggest strength is to be able to take that step forwards when the last thing you want to do is take that step forwards. Right, you're on your own. Get on with it. Good. Definitely well done. Good stuff. If you commit 50%, guess where you're ending up? In a drink. 